Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Stargazer. Stargazer is a super sweet pony. One year, during the New Year's Eve celebrations, there was a huge fireworks display in Ponyville. She flew up high into the sky to get a close look at all of the fireworks. When she did, her mane started to shine and sparkle just like the fireworks, and then stars appeared all over her mane and tail, and at that moment, her cutie mark appeared. What an awesome, sparkly story. Let's get started making Stargazer. We're going to be using Fluttershy as the base for Stargazer today. Now this is a different type of pony than the ones I normally use. And that's because when Stargazer's name was pulled as the winner this month and I took a look at the drawing, I was trying to figure out how I was going to get stars on the pony's hair. I was starting to think that maybe it was going to be impossible, but then I remembered that I had these McDonald's ponies that had solid hair. The entire pony's hard except for the tail, and I knew it was going to be perfect for this custom. To prep this pony, I used some acetone to remove the cutie mark and the inner portion of the eye. Now I took my scissors, cut off the bulk of the tail, and then I'm just going to dig out the rest of it using an X-Acto knife very, very carefully. And that tail is all out of there and we'll give her a new one later on. So let's get started with this transformation. Stargazer has a lot of ombre detailing to her so we're gonna be using the sponge technique today I'm taking a makeup sponge here it's nice and squishy and we're just gonna load it with the colors we need for the ombre effect which is a nice pink color and a teal green so I'm gonna put a thick stripe of pink and a thinner stripe of that darker color so it doesn't overpower my custom and then we're just going to dab that sponge onto whatever part of the pony you want to have that ombre effect and you're gonna have to dab the same area four maybe even five times to get a nice full complete coverage of paint so let's paint the wings the legs and her ears by repeating this process over and over again. You might have to switch out your sponge if the nail polish on the sponge starts to get too hard. All of those ombre details are in and they look fabulous. Let's get started on Stargazer's hair. I'm switching over to a bright purple paint now and I'm gonna start off by using a fine paintbrush to outline the pony's hair to avoid getting a lot of excess paint on her body. And I'm probably gonna just go over my outlined areas two times to darken up my color and I'm just using nail polish because that's my personal preference but of course you could always use acrylic paint for any of your customs now I'm gonna switch back to the large paintbrush that comes with the nail polish and completely fill in all the areas between my outline and give stargazer a nice purple mane Thank you. 
Now, since Stargazer's theme is stars, I thought we have to add something sparkly to her. So we're going to be taking this awesome, awesome, awesome holographic glitter top coat and completely cover her purple hair because when we go in to give her the stars on her hair, it is just really going to make them look so sparkly and pretty. You guys, look at all of that shimmer and shine. Oh my gosh. And let's put a little bit of glitter on her flank so her cutie mark can be a little glittery too. For the star detailing, we're going to be using a nail stamping plate today. It looks like this. What you do is you put the nail polish right on top of the design that you would like to use. Then you use a little scraper, scrape off all of the extra nail polish, and then pick up your design using this little squishy tool and you can see my stars are right there on top and then we're just going to press the little squishy part directly onto the pony's hair and the nail polish stars will stick to the pony just like that and I'm gonna repeat this process over and over again until Stargazer's mane is full of these gorgeous yellow stars. And for the cutie mark, I'm going to use the same stamping plate but switch to a purple nail polish. Let's get that star right on the flank perfect size oh my gosh and then I'm just gonna add a couple of purple dots around there to match the drawing let's finish up star gazers legs now let's give her some purple socks and I'm using the same purple I used for her mane and I laid down some nail striping tape to help me with a nice crisp line on the socks while the nail polish is still wet, remove your nail striping tape so none of that nail polish gets stuck to the sticker and you should be left with a perfectly straight line. How awesome does this look? Repeat that on all four legs, let it completely dry, and then we can do the same process but with white nail polish this time for her shoes. I'm gonna let that white completely dry and then we are gonna use that same star nail stamping plate but put three different colors instead of just one and we're gonna give Stargazer some really cute detailing on her shoes. I picked out blue, green, and that same purple color. It's gonna look so awesome against the white. And there you can see all three of the stars. Let me take off this nail striping tape very carefully, really quickly. There it goes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then since my little nail stamping tool is clear, I can see exactly where my stars are going down. And I'm going to put all three right next to each other. How awesome does that look? And then repeat that on all four legs. The last thing we need to do is paint in Stargazer's eye. I'm switching over to acrylic paint for this part, starting off with white to redefine the entire shape of the eye, going in with the teal for the actual eye, and then while the teal is still wet, I'm gonna go in with a bright chartreuse green at the bottom to create a nice gradient ombre effect and it works best when the acrylic paint is still wet because you can easily mix both colors I'm going in with some black for her pupil and then i'm going to use my nail dotting tool to give her two light reflections a big one in the upper corner and a small one down at the bottom. I'm gonna let all of this paint completely dry and then we can seal all of our work in with a nice layer of clear nail polish. Uh, let's take a look at the completed custom. Here is a Stargazer and her sparkly hair is, oh my gosh, the cutest Ever. I love it and check out those cutesy little shoes that she has on oh my gosh 
I did give her a tail. It is purple to match her mane, but I had no way of putting stars on her tail, so you'll have to forgive me for that, Wawa. And if you're interested in knowing how I put a tail on this custom, go check out my Bride of Frankenstein custom pony, and I have a tutorial on how to do that on that video. If your pony wasn't selected this month, no worries, there's always a chance you will be selected next month. And if you would like more information on how to enter your pony into the Fan Custom Friday drawing, stay tuned till the end of the video. All those details are coming. Thank you so much for watching, little pandas. Until next time, bye. Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC Pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.